Hello and welcome to the next project in our DevOps project series. The name of this project is Continuous Delivery with Jenkins and Ansible. So in this project, we're going to combine the power of Jenkins Continuous Integration Server with Ansible, which is a configuration management tool or in general an automation tool. Okay, so this is the scenario. Let's say there is a agile software development team and they're doing a continuous development of the product. So they're going to make continuous code changes. This code, ne this code needs to be packaged and needs to be deployed to servers for testing. If the process is continuous, if there are continuous code commit, we need to continuously deploy artifact to servers for testing. If all the test checks out fine, then we can finally deploy it to production. So after the deployment, the software testing and other kinds of testings will be conducted and the test reports will be evaluated. So, and the approval will be given to promote it to production or not. And this is going to be a process of deployment, test, deploy, test, because you'll be having different environments, dev, QA, UAT, production, staging. So if you have like these multiple environments before even you deploy to production, then you will understand there is continuous deployment if there is continuous code commit. When there is continuous deployment, there's also continuous dependency on the operations team. So different, different teams will be there or different, different product owners from different projects will be dependent on ops team for the regular deployments. And every project will have dev, QA, staging, production, multiple environments. So there'll be continuous deployment request that will be sent to the operations team. So this is the scenario. Let's see the problem. If the code deployment process is manual, it's going to take a lot of time to promote your changes to production because there are multiple environments where the deployment needs to be done. If it's manual, then it's going to take a lot of time. Doesn't matter how fast you make the code change, still the deployment will be slow. And in this process of deployment, there will be ticketing systems. There'll be approvals, assignments. There'll be different owners for different environments. Developer owns the dev environment, QA owns the QA environment, the software testers and productions are owned by different team, monitoring team, site reliability engineers. So there'll be too many, you know, ticketing assignments and approvals going here and there, which actually is a bit pro problematic in an agile process. So too much dependencies on operations and build and release team for the deployment. So solution will be to first set continuous integration process and continuous delivery process. So for every code commit, build, test, deploy, then test. Now this happens for every commit and the deployment process should be automated. So deployment on different, different environments and different environments have different owners. So you can also notify them if something fails or passes successfully, like developer gets notification, software testers gets notification. So there'll be multiple teams and also there'll be multiple tools. You need to integrate all the tools, all the automation tools together. So continuous integration tool integrated with repositories, integrated with automation uh, tools, with configuration management tools. So when you do these integrations, it will remove human intervention because just writing a script to automate a task is just not enough. So let's say you done a, you deployed uh, the artifact to the server, then you need to communicate this to software testing team. They'll conduct their software test execution. And there'll be again in this process also ticket assignments and uh, feedback and approvals. So in order to get over from this problem, you need to integrate tools together. And whenever there is a problem bug in the code, or in the deployment process, you st the process automatically stops and you fix the problem and then the uh, process repeats again. And this entire automated process is called as continuous delivery process.
and in continuous delivery try to integrate all the tools that that are used in the release management process so in this project we are going to see varieties of tools integrated together so let's see the list of the tools now so we're going to use jenkins for continuous integration and con uh, jenkins will be integrated with all the tools it will be integrated with git where our source code is kept and also there will be maven which will be our build tool check style which will be doing a code analysis for notification we will be using slack to store our software artifact we will be using nexus sonar type art, uh, software repository and we use it for two purpose when the maven needs dependency the dependency will be downloaded from nexus sonar type repository also when it generates the artifacts going to store it back to nexus sonar type repository for code analysis we are going to use sonar cube server sonar cube server will provide us a good dashboard and also quality gates and also different kinds of rules that we can set on them and also we are going to integrate it with ansible so jenkins will have integration also with the ansible so deployment we are going to do in this project with ansible selenium we are going to use for software testing which will be running on windows server and selenium test suite will get executed or will test really our apache tomcat server on apache tomcat server our application will be hosted it will be also connected to a database server and all this setup we are going to do it do on aws so we are going to use aws ec2 instances as a virtual machines okay so these are all the tools and technologies that we are going to integrate together while doing this project keep our objective on our mind we have to do deployment automation so complete end to end automation of delivery so if anything happens we can even repair things very quickly if something breaks we can isolate we can find the problem right team gets the notification in the meantime to repair is really become really becomes short here when you have complete automated release cycle then any request that comes from the user any code change any bug fix anything can be done very quickly so developer makes a code change automatically the entire pipeline triggers and do the complete uh, delivery and testing in, right and no human intervention so nobody get uh, you know in, uh, in or not many people get involved while the process is happening so it's going to be less disruptive all right let's achieve this goal but before we do that we are going to see architecture of continuous delivery pipeline okay so developers are going to make regular code changes as we are talking in an agile development process and they make the code change they commit to the local git repository and then that will be synced with a remote repository so we are going to use github our source code is in github so whenever the new code is changed whenever there is a commit on github Jenkins will detect that automatically and fetch all the changes and then it's going to do code test it's going to do unit test and whether it you know based on whether it's passed or failed the notification will be sent if it passes it goes to the next level in the next level we'll have code analysis so we are going to use check style and sonar cube scanner these tools are going to scan the code and a report will be generated and will be uploaded to sonar cube server sonar cube server will compare it with its quality gates if you pass the quality gate the job continues the next job gets triggered if it's failed then a not fail notification will be sent and the pipeline stops but if it's a success it goes to the next level where maven again is going to build the software this time maven is going to build the software in code testing maven is going to do unit test here maven is going to build the artifact and when it builds the artifact it needs some dependency those dependency will be downloaded from nexus repository so on nexus we're going to create maven repository maven central repository so all the dependency will be downloaded 
when the build process is happening. If this fails, failure notification is sent, pipeline stop, but if this passes, the packaging of the artifact will be done and the artifact will be uploaded to Nexus repository. So now you'll have a versioned artifact gone through unit test and code analysis. If this is all good, then our Ansible will get kicked in. Job of Ansible will be to deploy the artifact, download the artifact from Nexus and deploy to staging server. And while Ansible is doing that, it will also make sure the right packages are installed, the right services are running, the configurations are correct. So we can also make sure this all this happens along with the deployment process. Also, one more thing, while the deployment is happening and something fails, Ansible will will put uh, an intelli will put the kind of intelligence that you know it can roll back to the previous state. So also we can do auto rollback. And yes, so all that things we can do with Ansible, that's why doing deployment with Ansible will be much more convenient. So once Ansible is done by checking everything and deploying to the staging server, then our software test suit can get executed and do the software testing on the staging environment, the dev, QA, staging, UAT, all the environments. And then if we get the approval, then we can use Ansible to deploy the artifact to production server as well. And this can be automatic without approval, it's pre-approved or it can be with approval also. In any case, we have a complete automated pipeline. So this is the entire flow. Now let's see the flow of execution, how we're going to execute this entire project. We're going to log into our AWS account. We'll create a login key pair. We'll create security group for Jenkins, Nexus and SonarCube server. Then we'll launch these three EC2 instances with user data. Jenkins, SonarCube and Nexus server. Then we'll conduct Jenkins post installation steps. Nexus repository, we're going to set up three Nexus repositories for Maven. Next, we're going to do SonarCube post installation steps. Then we'll set up jobs in Jenkins. First, a build job. Then we're going to set up Slack notification. We'll integrate Slack with Jenkins. We'll create a job to execute check style code analysis. Then we'll integrate Jenkins with SonarCube server. We'll create a job that will run Sonar scanning and upload the result to SonarCube server. Then the next job, which is going to upload the artifact to Nexus repository. And then we'll connect all these jobs together and that will give us a continuous integration pipeline. And we'll set up an automatic build trigger. So any code change, this pipeline will get triggered automatically. We'll test it by making a code change from Git. Next, we are going to continue with the continuous delivery pipeline. Now we'll create security group for a Windows server from where we're going to run our Selenium test suit. Security group for Tomcat and backend servers. We'll create Tomcat and backend server on EC2 for staging first. Backend server will set up, but Tomcat server will get provisioned automatically through Ansible playbooks. So we're going to next create a job which, which is going to run our Ansible playbook. And these playbooks will first validate if you have Tomcat, JDK, all the dependency on configuration, right? And then it will deploy artifact to staging environment by using Ansible playbooks. So there'll be two playbooks in the play over here. First, we'll validate whether Tomcat setup is up and right. The next playbook will fetch the artifact from Nexus and deploy to Tomcat server. While it's doing that, this playbook will also make sure if there is any failure, it will roll back to the previous version of the artifact. Then we'll add Windows node as a slave to Jenkins from where we're gonna run our Selenium test suit. And we'll create a job which will run Selenium test scripts from Windows Server. So after the deployment on staging environment, we would like to execute our test scripts. Once this test scripts checks out fine, everything is good, then we'll deploy our artifact to production server again by using Ansible from Jenkins. So by now we already had a continuous integration pipeline and we had now new jobs. We're gonna integrate all these new jobs to our pipeline. And then again, we'll test it by committing a code to GitHub. And then finally, we'll clean up everything. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. 
if you already done continuous integration project and you have everything ready the continuous integration pipeline then you can jump to the second half of this project in first half we will be setting up continuous integration pipeline if you already have gone through the project and if you already have the setup you can directly jump to the second half and extend the pipeline and make it continuous delivery by integrating ansible and software test suite together